hey guys welcome welcome back happy friday guys thanks for stopping by for another video here at all i see is w in today's video i'd like to cover technical analysis as well as going through the latest updates with bitcoin news we'll do a deep dive analysis on mara's recent quarterly earnings report that was announced yesterday as well as why the price today has been shooting up I'll give you my assessment on what the price prediction of Bitcoin and Mara stock is. It is now a time to buy, hold, or sell. We'll go through all of that. But first off, if you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate the support. I would encourage you to subscribe if you enjoy this content. Let's get started, guys. So over the last couple of days, we've seen Bitcoin just run back up into the 100K range. This is definitely some nice movement up. The bulls are taking action now, especially with the bears really taking action since, you know, that big drawdown over the last couple of months until, you know, we got past the April month where it was a really bad Q1 underperformance along with tariffs and all that. Now with that in hindsight, We've heard from Donald Trump, now's the time to keep buying stocks, even crypto. I mean, he's doing it himself. Bitcoin is eventually going to climb up the ranks and, you know, bypass the Mac 7s, all of the Mac 7s actually, like Amazon, NVIDIA, Apple, Microsoft. Bitcoin isn't too far away. I mean, if, if Bitcoin just goes up by 50%, it's going to be ranked number two, bypassing Microsoft and will become number two right behind gold. It's only a matter of time, whether it's going to be two years, three years out before Bitcoin makes the leap to become the number one top asset by market cap. Here's an interesting visual in that we have 8.1 billion people on this planet. Most people will never get to one Bitcoin. Just put that into perspective, you know, even owning 0.01 Bitcoin, even owning 0.1 Bitcoin, even owning a quarter of a Bitcoin, that's far better than, you know, anything right now. If you're new to Bitcoin, study it, embrace it. Why? Because the longer you wait, the more you'll regret it in the long term course. And it's never too late uh, where the current price is right now. It's still definitely a discount because when you scale out, Buying right now is going to be much cheaper than buying like 10 years when Bitcoin goes to like millions of dollars. Let's take a look at this visual state reserve race. So orange is the new black at the state level. We hear so much about global game theory. We hear so much around, you know, the state race strategic Bitcoin reserve which was an executive order. We're hearing from Senator Cynthia Lummis around Strategic Bitcoin Act of 2025, where the goal is to buy up a million Bitcoins by the government. Well, separate from all that, we have state-level SBR, where now New Hampshire was the first state to enact Bitcoin, where they can use their treasury to buy up Bitcoin. In fact, Arizona last weekend, we heard about that veto from the government. And what happened? It got resubmitted and then it got approved. So now we have two states that have strategic Bitcoin reserve enacted into law. This means states like Arizona and New Hampshire are able to buy Bitcoin with their, their money. As soon as we hear a state like Texas you know, getting approved, that's going to be a big time run up for Bitcoin price where we can potentially sh see it shoot up to like 120K. But this is definitely showing signs of of things ramping up. And what does this mean? We continue to hear financial institutions like BlackRock, Fidelity buying up Bitcoin. In fact, buying their own Bitcoin ETF like iBit. There's been so much money inflows going into Bitcoin ETFs, as well as on the Bitcoin exchange, people are buying Bitcoin left and right. People are beginning to FOMO and really want to get Bitcoin. Why? Because they understand that there's only 21 million Bitcoins available and about 5 million Bitcoins have been lost where people can't restore their passwords and all that. So when you think about it, it's actually less of what's available out there in terms of what people can sell. And we only have about 5% left of Bitcoins to mine. So through every halving event, Bitcoin price will go up. So those who wait 
will pay a higher price. Let's take a look at this posting from Crypto Klepto. So what have we seen lately over the course of time? In fact, Goldman Sachs, they've been just buying up more Mara stocks, getting close to 2 million shares of Mara in Q1. So they increased their huddle close to about 59% increase with Mara shares. So this institution has accumulated, you know, 5.2 million shares of Mara as of March 31st, 2025 with the cost average basis of $15.82. So definitely going to be a big time winner as price continues to go down. Goldman Sachs continues to stack sats. Why? Because they know that what goes down and you're able to buy at a cheaper cost will eventually go back up so that's why goldman Sachs is going to be a big time financial institutions that's going to win and that also applies to the vanguard group so vanguard has been consistently buying up uh, mara stock as well why because they understand you buy low and eventually you'll sell high and capitalize on the gains when mara share price goes back up so definitely financial institutions big time whales are are playing that game of buy low and sell high here's an interesting post from investidor just based on technical indicators and we've seen today mara having a nice run up a day you know ending the market close to about 10 percent gain so mara you know with a macd flip on the weekly uh you know and bullish divergence on the rsi identical setup to october 2023 and he's forecasting v-shaped recovery underway so we see that macd crossing the blue crossing the orange crossing bullish divergence we're expected to see green candles coming up one of the key indicators is that that's coupled with relative strength increasing but what do we see you know, just with that low point support, we may very see a trend reversal pattern that's going to be coming very soon. With all of that, let's look at Mara technical analysis before we talk about the fundamentals with the earnings report. So where we currently are right now, Mara's share price, you know, it was at like $9.90 not too long ago, uh, you know, early April. And now we're beginning to see Mara's share price, you know, have this concave upward, you know. In fact, we might see a V-shape in that the price action, market participants really want to just shoot the price up. That's what it looks like we see this you know continuation downward slope price has continued to retrace down lower lows you know with this downward slope but we're beginning to see a bullish divergence relative strength macd we're seeing you know big time reversals price is eventually going to break out of this bull flag and i'm thinking that we may very well retest this level one prior resistance of like 1796 18 dollar range as soon as we see it flip the switch, that becomes the new support level. We may very well retest into that $20 range in orange, which is that secondary prior resistance. And then we were going to you know, get back to that level three prior resistance, $31. But I think as we see Bitcoin price get to like 140 k where towards you know 2025, I'm anticipating Bitcoin to have a run up to like two hundred thousand dollars. We may very well see Mara, you know, break into that eighty dollar range. Not saying that it will happen, but anything can be possible, especially if Bitcoin price runs up to like new levels that hasn't been achieved yet, which is that two hundred k. We've already crossed that one hundred k psychological barrier. So even the fact that with Bitcoin crossing one hundred k now, people aren't too surprised. There's just going to be more demand as Bitcoin gets to like one forty k. You know what will Mara's price uh, be? And let's say if even if Bitcoin price retraces, you know, from one hundred forty to one hundred k. People will be complaining about 100K being the, you know, a low point. But think about it. I mean, we've seen Bitcoin price at way lower numbers, but that's just the, the nature of the game. You know, things will just trend up in the long run. But I think overall, Mara has a, a definite uh, position for it to shoot back up after being just completely beaten down with the recent price action. With all of that, let's dive into the earnings report. So one of the key things is, you know, Mara is the largest vertically integrated digital compute company, you know, based out in the USA. They have sites in Finland, UAE, Paraguay. You know, they have like 16 compute sites 
four continents of operation with the 1.7 gigawatt compute capacity. So, you know, the, the, the name of the game right now is energy capacity, capital and Bitcoin hodl along with this big time hash rate. So key thing with the highlights of Q1, I mean, they've energized their hash rate 95% year over year growth from like 27.8 to 54.8 exahash no other company has that type of hash rate currently their revenue increased by 30 percent year over year to 214 million dollars just in q1 alone also given the fact that bitcoin price end of march it went down so when you think about q2 where is bitcoin price gonna land so end of june let's say a bitcoin price goes to like 140k think about the revenue growth for this big time company that holds you know close to about fifty thousand bitcoins on their treasury so when you look at Mara's total hodl, they increase 174% to 47,531 Bitcoins from 17,000 at the end of Q1 2024. So definitely stacking sats right now. Yes, production has gone down. That's due to the halving. But, you know, with the recent halving taking place about a year ago, you got that compensatory mechanism to ramp up three years prior to the next halving event. Net income, not too worried about that. That was expected in hindsight, given the fact that Bitcoin price went down at the end of the March. But I think overall liquidity continues to go up as Bitcoin price where it currently is right now with the change in the FASB rule. Bitcoin price appreciates, there's going to be more liquidity for Mara. They also are considered like a Bitcoin bank where they loan out their Bitcoins in exchange for a uh, return with interest, as well as Blocks One, 81% year over year increase, uh, along with, you know, their Bitcoin yield per share increasing uh, consistently at like 3.5%. So definitely a win-win situation. We see their hash rate Block production, you know, increasing, uh, you know, from a Q1 to last year's Q1's comparison, but overall hash rate continues to grow consistently, even with minor, um, you know, difficulty being uh, underway. Uh, their production continues to consistently go up. Um, so definitely some some nice numbers, although the the revenue loss because of the Bitcoin depreciation price. I think, you know, Q1 numbers, we did realize that, you know, there's going to be a, a net loss with the, you know, net net loss because of Bitcoin price depreciation. That's all in hindsight. I think Q2 things are just going to flip the switch and Mara's, you know, price is going to look even better. Here's one key indicator. Cost of Petahash has significantly improved, 25% improvement from last year. This all is attributed to their fleet efficiency. You know, they're one of the leading uh, in industry uh, miners you know, behind like clean spark and iron when it comes to uh, efficiency, you know, paying uh, for the cost to mine. So fleet efficiency improves, their hash rate improves. They're just buying different locations all around the world right now to just get that energy capacity up and, you know, also tapping into different growth opportunities uh, such as like windmill, you know, they're really trying to, you uh, you know, own all of the facilities to generate their own energy capacity. Uh, so definitely huge upside as well in Texas, you know, power generation assets, which will help them with their curtailment grid challenges and really take advantage during those seasonal events, um, along with, you know, different facilities to uh, advance how they look at, you know, oil and gas sites to really generate uh, uh, lower costs, increasing uh, profit uh, globally all around their facilities, including, you know, any ways for recycling heat, especially with like the Finland location, you know, advancing technologies to find ways to, you know, convert heat uh, while minimizing costs. So just looking at the quarterly financials, yes, we see, you know, to total current assets, it's changed from 470. But, you know, just to factor in, you know, we do see total current liabilities increasing, but then that's all attributed to the amount of the 
Bitcoin holdings that are held on the balance sheet. As Bitcoin price continues to hodl, I think that Mara is going to be a big time company not to reckon with. Uh, so that's my overall uh, assessment with uh, Mara. Most of you are wondering, is now a time to buy Mara stock, you know, Bitcoin? I think that because Mara had such a big drop, definitely huge upside with where the current price is right now. I still do think that Mara is undervalued where it currently is. I do think that it has the potential for a three to five X run up from the current price. And again, you know, don't take this as uh, financial advice. Always do your research. Just take my information as guidance only. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your comments, questions are down below. Take care, guys.